Hello, this is Irina Benedict bringing you Entrepreneur Enlightenment TV. This is the place where you can learn practical business strategies combined with spirituality and love so both you and your business can thrive. Today we're talking about how to run your business like a business because I want you to be a real business owner and not an underpaid employee who does all of the jobs and gets no time off. I know I've done that. I'm still doing it a few days here and there. And those strategies that I'm going to share with you will move you from uh, being an underpaid employee to being a business owner. The first strategy is very important and it's for you to have a few things you monitor in your business. When you're too occupied with bringing clients, serving clients, producing events, uh, doing the things that you need to do in your business, you forget that you are the business owner you have to have a way to measure is this business going in the right direction or not. And sometimes just by looking at how many sales you made this month and, and feeling that you are busy and you're occupied and you're talking to people, it may give you a false impression. But when you actually look at the numbers, when you keep track of how your months are going, how your quarters are going, then you will see and you, are able, you will be able to adapt. It's very hard to manage what you don't monitor because you don't know what's happening. And the false impression can tell you that you're doing good, but uh, maybe there are things that with a little bit of adjustment can make your business do better. So it's very important for you to decide what is important to monitor. Of course, the 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 income the money coming in is important to monitor the expenses and um, and to see what's left what's your profitability but there are other things to monitor like how many events you're going to if you're networking how many contacts you get at those networks how many people follow up with you after and how many people become your client and it's it's very important to know what works for you because we have different personality we're different people and we have to see what is our best input like our best return on our investment and time, of time and money so that's why it's good to monitor look at uh, for example i go to uh expos and I went to whole life expo and taking like what did I pay to be there how many contacts I made and will I go again that's a very good indicator of where my effort will be for this year so I hope this helps you the rule number two is uh, strategy number two is to learn the the rules of business right like the the basic basic rules of business and rule number one is do not lose money we we do a business because we want to make money and losing money is of course not sustainable because after a while you look at your business and say hey um i put all this effort i had all those dreams i want to follow my calling my purpose and what do i have to show after three years I'm just showing minus in, in either my personal account, if you put your own money into the business or if you loaned money, then you, you see that you have this big debt, but not uh, something to show for it. So don't lose money is rule number one. And it's rather you don't do a business and, and you are staying level than to do a business and, and lose money. I think that's really unfortunate. And if you are in that situation, do connect with me and let's see if we can do something to turn it around. The second rule of business is make money. Basically, this is the purpose of a business is to uh, put a service, to bring something to the world, to create something, and then to have 
a return on that investment. So after you take the expenses, you have to have some profit, something left into the bank account. And the third one is to actually have cash flow. There are many businesses who fail. Actually, I'm working with a gentleman. He has a, I don't know, a few million dollar business, but has no cash flow at the moment. So without cash flow, you cannot make the payments. You cannot invest in anything. And a lot of businesses fail when they have cash flow problems, although they could have like a good business, a good idea and, um, and uh, something to show for the effort. So watch your cash flow very carefully because it is uh, really scary when you do all this work and you have no cash flow. So I hope today's strategies helped you. Do leave a comment below this video and let me know what spoke with you. Ask me a few more questions because I'm going to uh, come again and share more of what you want to learn. So blessings to you, wishing you having a business that runs like a real business, which actually pays you for your effort. And also um, you can see the growth and you can see your contribution into the world. Okay. Bye now.